Returning for worship is going to look a little different. When you arrive, you might be asked to wait outside the main doors before going into the church. Both main doors will be open so that you can walk through the middle without needing to touch the doors or anyone else. Before you go into the internal part of the church, you'll be asked to use the hand sanitizer, which will be here, and someone will welcome you into the church. Alongside that, you might you like to use our, or the Church of England, QR codes. These will give you prayers to use as you come into the church. And if you would like to do so, you can light a virtual candle. You won't be able to use real candles. Once you have sanitised your hands, then you'll be invited to go through the next set of doors, both of which will be open, so you won't need to touch the door handle at all. And then, this is perhaps the different thing, usually you might turn right and go into the main part of the church. This time, or now at this time, we're asking you to follow the one-way arrows. And so you will come down this walkway and go around by the Remembrance Corner, following again the one-way arrow. And again, we've got the posters on the wall with the QR codes for you if you want to use those on your phone. And then you will be asked to or directed to sit somewhere but you can't just choose anywhere you'd like to sit now as you can see the majority of the chairs are pushed together over on the side and chairs are now in twos or in fours for family groups or threes and actually, there will also be single chairs for those of you who are from a single household. The reason we've done this is, of course, households can sit together. So, for example, if Shija, Anne and Alex came to church, they could all sit here together in this group of three. If... Richard, Emma, Joe, and Anna all came to church. They could sit in this group of four. But obviously, if you are on your own or in a couple, you'd have to sit away from them. We're going to keep as much as we can to the two meter rule. So there are two meters behind as well as needing to leave two metres in front and also more than two metres down the middle. Once you get to your seat, we ask you to stay in your seat. Toilets will be available, but only one at a time and only one of the toilets will be in use. And you will be asked to make sure that when you flush the toilet, you put the seat down and then you use the disinfectant wipes to wipe down the surface of the toilet and the hand basin. You must also wash your hands. We'll come to that in a minute as a separate thing. When you come in, you will be given an order of service but you must not leave the order of service at church. You must take it home with you. You can then recycle it if you wish to do so. The service will be a Eucharist, but you won't be able to have wine. It will be in one kind only, bread and wafers at that. And instead of us all coming to the steps or to the rail, over there as usual. 
we will invite you to come forward and uh, one at a time or a household at a time to receive communion and there will be two standing stations so there's markers on the floor where you are to stand just here on this side of the altar and then on the other side of the altar there is also an Arthur marker to stand. When it comes to communion both Heather and I or whoever is presiding will sanitize our hands before we touch the wafers and the wafers will be covered up until the very last moment. As we speak words over the wafers, we will move them to the farthest distance away from us. They will then be protected as we speak the words of consecration over them. We would ask you too, at this point, to re-sanitize your hands before you come for communion. When we come to the giving of communion, we would ask you to stand on the, symbol, the sign and then to extend your hand as far as you possibly can. We will do the same from the other side and we will drop the bread into your hands. Once you have received your communion, then we would ask you to return to your seat. It isn't possible to light candles because the mixture of hand gel and naked flames is not a good one. So, unfortunately, the candle stand has been taken away. But you can light a virtual candle using the QR code on the posters, which will be all around the church. You will have to wait perhaps until the end of the service to do this, but you are most welcome to do so. The toilets will be open, but only one of them, and we would ask that just one person at a time comes. So if you know that somebody has come out to the toilet or you see the door ahead shut, then you wait in the hall until that person comes out. Then when it is your turn, you are able to walk directly through the middle of the doors again so you don't have to touch anything. And then you can come into the toilet. But when you flush the toilet, please make sure that the lid is down so that when you flush, all of the contents stay within the toilet. And then please use the hand wash and the hot water to wash your hands properly. Obviously, getting in and out of the door means touching that. But if you've washed your hands and if we sanitise our hands as well, then that should be fine. End of the service, you will be invited to leave the church in an orderly fashion so that social distancing is maintained, with those who are sitting on the edge nearer the door going first. This enables us to continue our one way system around and to exit the church in the same way that you came in, but knowing that there will be no bumping into. So once again, you come back to the doors and you can walk through the middle of them. Stop to sanitize your hands again as before you go out and then out through the main doors.